Hey everybody, so here I'm just making my bechamel sauce. I'm melting my margarine. I use margarine, you can use butter. Uh, you wanna make sure this is, I cook on a high heat, but you gotta be really careful when you're making this kind of sauce. It will stick and it will burn very fast. Uh, here I've got my minced garlic and I'm gonna add some basil. I don't have it pictured, but I am actually gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to this as well, just for a little bit of zip. So there's my basil. Uh, forgive my filming here. I'm literally cooking with one hand and my phone is in the other hand. So it's a little a little wonky I Just want to make sure everything's melted and then you're gonna add your flour I'm really getting ahead of myself here. This is my first food video And just add flour I apologize I don't measure anything. If anyone's really interested in, in what I'm making here, I can certainly make it again and figure out all my measurements. I've just, I've cooked since forever and I've never really measured anything. Once it starts to get thick like this, you can see it's bubbling away. I'll start adding some milk. And as it heats up, it will thicken, uh, but this is where you have to be careful with it sticking on. Make sure you keep stirring, always stir. Sorry, I can't have you listening to the actual sounds of it cooking. Uh, all you could really hear was the, the fans going because we have no AC in the house and the TV in the other room. They're just cooking, watching the heat. It will start to thicken up a bit. So here I've already added a little bit more milk to it. And as it thickens, depending on how much sauce you want, you just keep adding more milk. And you can probably hear the fan in the background here too. So it's been a really hot summer. And I just keep mixing it until it gets nice and thick. This is actually how I start off my uh, cheese sauce, without those spices. And the basics of making a, a white sauce or a cheese sauce. And you start with your roux, your margarine and your flour. Right. Starting to get nice and creamy. You see it bubbling now. Now I'm actually going to add spinach. I like my greens. I wanted to add some greens to this chicken bake. And the spinach cooks like in seconds. So just mixing it in here. I've actually got the heat off already. So I'm just taking handfuls of spinach and adding it in. And I've already pre-cooked the chicken that I'm going to put in here. And uh, I'm going to cube it up. I'm going to mix it in as well. The chicken I cooked with some Greek seasoning and a little bit of lemon juice. There it is. And all that yummy stuff. I actually glazed the pan with some lemon juice. I'll just mix that through. And that'll be the filling for the chicken bakes. And I'll show you how we make the chicken bakes. There we go. I'm a cheater. Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Preheat my oven to 375. You're going to bake these for about 12 minutes or so. You can judge it. I've taken the crescent rolls and I've closed the seam up on two of them. Now I'll say it now. Next time I make these, I think I'm going to try using pizza dough. I'm also going to add bacon. I think that'll be really good. I'm just putting some cheese down. Cheese makes everything taste good. again sorry for my really bad filming lots of shadow <laughs> and then I'm just spooning out I've let this cool a little bit but I'll also help it get a little bit thicker I'm gonna put the top on it and seal her shut. And 
and then I sprinkle more cheese on top and then I'm going to put them in the oven. I think I actually had them in there for about 15 but I would check them start checking them at 10 minutes and here it comes and you can see it's kind of soft I think that's why I'm going to try using a pizza pizza crust instead and in the little dish up there I've got some tzatziki sauce that I made in the morning I will eat tzatziki sauce with anything you can see the inside there once again I'm one-handed and balancing my phone in the other. And so there you go, I was inspired to make this and brave enough to film it, so I hope you enjoy. I thought it was pretty good. Something's that I'm not gonna have it every day, that's for sure. It's kinda rich. And so that sauce, and it's perfect. Have a good one.